Greetings, Max Todd again here again. Um, this is part 16 of the walkthrough for Final Fantasy VI for the PS1. Um, we just entered the Returner's hideout. And there's a lot of things we can do here. Um, first off, we're gonna talk to this cat, and he's gonna... Basically, we're gonna follow him, and uh, we're gonna see a cutscene real quick. So, let's get this going. So he obviously wants us to go into this door. Um, the thing is, you can actually find a bunch of stuff in this part too also, just so you know. Um, but uh, we don't do that just yet. So uh, let's just uh, go to this cutscene. <clears throat> I'll save just for the heck of it. Just for the sake of saving. Much to Seven's delight, the save was successful. All right, this is where we meet uh, the infamous Bannon. Uh, we don't need to get this chest just yet because we're gonna have access, free access to the spot. So I'm just gonna talk to him right now. Get it going. Okay, <clears throat> here we have uh, control of uh, Terra. Right here we're by ourselves. Everyone's kind of like uh, in their own like world, you know, kind of like to themselves. And this, you want to talk to all your, your people. Um, I'm going to talk to Locke right here. And after that, I'm going to show you all the items that you can get in this area. So let's get that going. So getting a little more into their story. Hence all those periods when they first get described. First, uh, get introduced to these uh, players, the protagonists that is. This has the right words to say. Good old Locke. He's not just a treasure hunter or a thief. He's he's good at uh, encouraging people. Well, right here, um, this is where a Phoenix Down is, so we want to grab that. Okay. We're gonna find three chests um, now in this area. And um, all three of them are, well, one contains a true knight, another phoenix down, and a air lancer. And that's a stronger weapon for Locke. 
and it's also got a win. It's also a win elemental. So uh, let's get those chests. There's the Phoenix down. Phoenix Knight. And there, uh, Lancet should be in this one. There we go. And there's a hidden passage over here. Not, a lot of people miss this. But, uh... It can... It can um, it leads you over to here, I believe. Let me see what I get. It's over here somewhere. Yeah, here. You kind of just want to move... Um, until you stop and then point into a direction and the direction you go will go with obviously it was right down right and here you got a white cape and this is awesome I mean this is we're gonna give this to the tarot okay and these uh I believe in this pail in this uh, in this pot over here there's a antidote and a tincture so let's see that yeah, where's the antidote? And make sure you're right here. I mean, this is pretty good. I mean, we're stocking up pretty well here. Now we're gonna head over to the conference room. And there's a green cherry in the pot. So let's get to that. I believe the conference room. No, it's not down here. It's it's in this room, I believe. No, that's the one I just came out of. Oh my God. Conference room is to the right over here. It's not down here, then it's uh oh no, it's over here, yeah. It's the comments. There's the green chair. I'm gonna go to the save point room real fast and And there's a potion here. And you know this we haven't really got too many potions from what I from what I from what I gathered. So, there's, there you go. There's also going to be a store in here where you can actually buy potions for the first time in any of the stores. But uh, we'll get to that. Um, I'm going to save again just to save. Okay, in this part right here, um, if you go, if you go to the end of um, where the conference room is, if you go to like a, to the corner of the big table, um, Tara's gonna notice like a, a, a piece of paper here. And uh, see, she bow down. I mean, she bends down and she looks at it. You have the option to toss it in the trash or leave it there. If you toss it in the trash, nothing will happen. But if you leave it there. Um, <clears throat> which is what I'm going to do, it leads to a scene where, uh, where Bannon notices the piece of paper and he freaks out for some reason, I don't know, apparently it was a, it didn't translate too well from Japan, and, um, I don't know why it's funny, but maybe someone can explain that, but furthermore, that's not too significant anyway, but he, he looks at it when they have the conference and they're talking about, well, I guess their plan or strategy or whatever. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go to the shop and um, we're gonna I'm gonna buy a couple of eye drops. Oh wait, the shop's right there. I just passed it. But that's the end. At least you got a little glimpse of that. But here's the shop here, and uh, you can buy eye drops, tonics, potions, tinctures, echo screens, sleeping bags, tents, and sprint shoes. I already got sprint shoes, so I obviously don't need to buy that. But I'm, like I said, I'm gonna buy a couple of eye drops. Cause going blind is not fun. Um, like, I, uh, like I said before, this is like the first shop where you can actually uh, buy potions. Um, I don't know. How, yeah, I have only six. I think I'll buy like two or three. No, I'll buy four. Why not? I got some money to spend. I don't think I really need anything else here, but feel free to buy whatever you want. Whatever you will. Peruse, whatever. 
Well, before we uh, talk to uh, Duncan, we have to talk to our people. So let's see what Sabin, Sabin has to say here. <laughs> Sabin is uh, quite the character. Well, let me go back up here and talk to Edgar real fast. Good old Edgar. Okay, now that we spoke to our three people, now we can go talk to Bannon. And uh, there's there's a couple options you can get here with this. Um, when you talk to him, he's gonna of course ask you to help, and I, I believe he's standing outside. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk to this cat, Mr. Bannon. And before I talk to him real quick, um, like I said, he's gonna ask us to help, and you, we can make a choice here. I mean, eventually we're gonna help. But uh, if you like refuse once, you get you can get yourself a Genji glove. If you just say yes right away, you get the gauntlet. But uh, the Genji glove is better. The gauntlet is more rare, but the Genji glove is better. So uh, you can also reject them three times. If you reject them three times, a soldier stumbles in and uh, and then uh, he, and then rather talking, uh, some guy interrupts and gives you a Genji glove. So there's two ways to get that. I prefer to like reject them once and get it because you don't go to that meeting if you reject it three times. It just goes right into action after that and you kind of like force to help. Not force to help, but you just decide to help because it's kind of like it has to happen so the story continues. So I'm going to reject them once like I said. And uh... So when I go and uh, respond to yes next time, I'm going to get a Genji Glove, which is going to be offered to me. Um, well, actually, it's the guy who's walking around here is the one who gives it to me. Just got to find where he is. Yeah, this guy. So uh, he'll give me the Genji Glove, most likely. Okay, not this guy. It's actually in the storage room that I remember. And the storage room, what was that again? Uh, I'm trying to recall. I don't think this is the storage room, but. Oh no, the storage room is where I. That's right, where I got the three chests. So, let me get the Genji Glove from that guy. That oh. Alright. On our way up here, on our way up here. Yeah, this cat right here will give us the Genji Glove. Alright. So this one's this is a good relic of course. And as you can see everyone really is wanting Tara to help. So what we're gonna do, uh Well we have a couple options here. Since we we we're by ourselves, we can actually could leave the hideout, they'll let us. And we could venture off to uh Mount Colts. Which is you know what, I'm gonna do that. Why not? I got have some time to kill. So what's going to happen here? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back and talk to Bannon, but we're going to go to Mount Colts, and there's an Imperial soldier that's going to be at the entrance. And, you know, he's going to talk some trash to us. And, you know, I'm going to gain some experience in the meantime. Gonna use my trusty fire here. Now this is just for all those uh, avid uh, RPG players, or just any um, game, um, video game, I should say, um, to see. You know, we like to see anything and everything in these games. So I'm just gonna just go for that extra dialogue.
And well, since I'm fighting here, I might as well. I should have already have supplied her with the white cape. So let me just do that right now, real quick. And see, see, I gained a level. Well worth it. Let me equip that white cape here. A lot better than some cotton robe. Oh, you know what? I can't. Oh, that's right. She can't have this, but that's right. The the white cape goes. Oh gosh, I can't remember who uses it. But uh, oh yeah, let me let me cure her also. Oh no, I would mistake that. Oh jeez, I, I swore that she was able to get it. That to no girl, no big deal. She's good to go. All right, let's cure real quick. All right, let me show you what happens here when you go to the engines. It's nothing too major, but just want to show for the sake of showing it. And uh, it's gonna be, like I said, there's gonna be some soldier here, and he's gonna. I was gonna say something pretty, uh, pretty rowdy to us. And he just chases us off. <laughs> just figured I'd show that. Anyway, we're gonna head back, and we're gonna get on with this story here. I mean, for those of you who don't know, I mean, you have the option to, like, attack them all at once. And I should have said this a long time ago, but it's by using the, the R button, the top right. And, um... And that allows you to uh, have the option to attack one or more. And I personally don't see why you wouldn't use it all the time, unless, of course, you know, only one of the guys is vulnerable to fire. And the others aren't. It's the only time you wouldn't. So I, I like that option. It's great. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I'm going to talk to Banner right here and say yes. And, and we'll take it from here. So uh, this will be it for this video. So join me for the next one. We'll, we'll uh, discuss our plan of attack with Bannon and company. Game on. Peace.